Hello everyone, welcome to CSS World. In this video, we are going to study another approach to international relations, which is scientific revolution behavioral approach. So let's start this lecture now. First of all, let me tell you that why the notion scientific revolution is attached with the behavioral approach to IR. This is because of the debate during 1960s when the stress was put on using the methods of natural science in international relations. This debate was sparked because IR community was losing its battle to acquire the status of science. So this is basically a theory of scientific era. Therefore, this notion is attached with it and also with the system approach which would be covered in next lecture. Now, what is behavioral approach? The main argument of this approach is that it is useless to analyze politics from a position of faith that humans are either inherently good or evil. Instead, human behavior should be observed systematically because it depends upon the behavior of human that how he behaves, either he behaves in good manners or bad manners. So it rejects the concepts of both realism and idealism as realism portrays men as power hunger and idealism portrays the good image of human. So behavioral approach rejects both realism and idealism and it says that by nature human is neither so bad nor so good but it is the behavior of human which makes him good for some time and bad for other. The proponents of behavioral approach rejected the unscientific definition of politics and stress upon the fact to systematically observe the behavior of humans. After understanding the basic concept of behavioral approach, now we will take it to international relations and we will see that what it suggests in IR. This approach says that states should do predictive forecasting analysis. For example, there are two states, state A and state B. State A don't know that what would be the behavior of state B towards it after it's some specific step. Then the behavioral approach argues that state A should go back in the history and see that what was the behavior of state B towards it in past. In this way, the state A can analyze the behavior of state B and can predict how the state B will act in future. So this approach says that state A should do analysis of the behavior of state B in past to predict behavior of that particular state in future. Next thing which comes under this approach is historical situational data. Historical situational data basically helps the states in predictive forecasting analysis. Historical data basically shows that how a specific state or a leader of that particular state behaved in past. On the basis of these historical facts, a state can analyze in the better way that how the other state will behave towards it in future. Let's suppose United States President Donald Trump is re-elected in next elections. Then all the other states can assume the policies devised by Trump by the decisions of Trump taken during his first tenure. In this way, states can adjust policy options accordingly. So this is basically the behavioral approach to IR. But keep in mind one thing that this approach to international relations is not recommended because it follows the SOPs of pure science as it talks about forecasting but the reality is that the international relations is not pure science but it is social science. Therefore, in social science we cannot get the pure data. Therefore, this theory cannot be applied. So this was all from today's lecture. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos. Goodbye.